suffering to express yourself without tripping in anything. And then you can move it back into position, whatever you need it, anything that you want to put underneath your head, just have it handy. So, we'll do our normal positioning. Toes apart, heels apart, soften through those knees. Neutral pelvis, so if you need to give it a little rock forward and back to get it in position, you can do so. Think of your core, so you can think of somebody tightening your corset or belly button through the spine, whatever works for you. And then release those shoulders back and down, chin parallel to the floor. And think of just floating up towards the ceiling to make yourself as, high, as, as tall as you can be without tensing. So we're just going to start with a little bit of mobilization of the upper body as usual. So take a breath in and as you breathe out, just nod your head and look down. Then come back through centre and just glance towards the ceiling. Come back through centre one more time, look towards the floor. Release through centre and glance up towards the ceiling. And release. Then just look over one shoulder. And come back through centre. And slowly look over the other shoulder. Just going as far as is comfortable for your neck. Back through centre. One more time. Looking over and center and the other direction and center and then just gently drop the ear towards the shoulder just to get that nice extension through the neck and back through center one more time ease it over center and just release now we're going to start on the one side, so just give me a shoulder roll. Then an elbow lift. Then one circle. And release, other side, shoulder roll. Coming up through the elbow. And then just lift. And release, and again, shoulder. Elbow. Now, if the full circle doesn't appeal to you, you can stick to an elbow roll. Shoulder. Elbow. Circle. One more each side. So just allow it to flow. Just getting a little bit bigger. Each time to open through that shoulder area. And one more time. Roll. Elbow. And release. Now, if it suits you to do so, Take both arms up, round, and through. Lift, and through. So you're just doing as big a circle as you can cope with today. One more time, lift, round, and through. And then just release forward, just a couple of rows forward. Now bring the arms in and just tap your wee fingers together. Then just take it out. Float up, rotate, bring the elbows in, and come back through, and flick. So we take it out, then we rise, we rotate, we bring it in, we come down, we flick over. Relax those shoulders down, take it out, you feel your shoulders easing towards each other, then release, bring it in. Down, in one more time, take it away, float it up, bring it back, bring it down, bring it in, and release. Now just take the arms out, and release back in. Take it out, so we're not doing our ripple, in that we're curving through, we're just opening, and bringing back in. Open, bring back in. Now open and hold, take the arms out. Now if you prefer to do this one with your arms stacked, you can do so. Relax the shoulders, take a breath in. Now fix those hips and just rotate. Breathe in as you come back through center, shoulders relaxed. 
through to get to the other side. Just going as far as you can without moving your hips. Breathing out as you rotate. In as you come through one more time. Out as you rotate. In as you come through. Relax the arms down. Shoulders are always nippy when you hold them out, so two circles back and release. Two circles forward and release. Lateral stretch. So just ease down as one comes up, back through center. Stretch it down as the other arm comes up, back through center. So you're breathing out on the stretch. In and release, out on the stretch, in and release. Now we're going to extend that, so out on the stretch, then take that extended arm up and over, and then bring it right round and down. Take it down first, then extend over, take it wide, and down. One more each side. If it doesn't suit you to take it over to the edge, you don't need to. You can just stick to that other one. Release. And down one more time. Oh, we've gone the other way. Okay, so we just put the extra bit in there. Release. And down. And again, just one big roll back. One big roll forward. And give it a little release. Hands on the waist. Just give me a couple of hip circles in one direction. Just to release any tension. And a couple of hip circles in the other direction. Now I'm gonna start with just a lift onto the toes. So I want you to float up onto your toes. Pause for a second. Then release back down and go into a squat. And back through center. Lift onto the toes, pause for a second, release down, into squat. So keep it nice and smooth, keep that core connection, try and maintain that balance, sitting back on the heels, and release. Lift, ease it down, sit back. And release. Two more things. Lift and hold. Ease it down. Sit back. And release. Lift. Ease it down. Sit back. And release. Now, lift the knee. Open it out. Bring it in. Release it down, transferring to the other side. Lift, open, close, and release. So you're trying to make the transition from side to side as smooth as possible, placing the foot more or less in the same position each time. Open, close, and release. One more each side. Lift. Open, close, and release. Last one of these, lift, open, close, and release. Now a combination. So we're going to do a knee lift, side leg, back extension, and back through center. Transitioning to the other side, knee lift, side leg. Now if you can, try and keep this in a balanced position, but if you need to drop your foot to the floor, as I just did, of course do so. And release, knee lift, ease it down. Remember that core connection, extend to the side, back through center. Lift behind with a slight body lean. Transfer. Knee. To the side. Back through center. 
slight forward lean and release one more each side so we're keeping this nice and smooth lift back through center take it to the side bring it down slight forward lean as you extend remember you shouldn't feel that in your lower back so don't lift it too high back through center last time lift release Glide it out to the side, back through center, ease it back, release it down, and sit, and release, just four, sit back, and release, sit back, and release one more time, sit back, and release. Now just press through. Just release any tension. Now we're going to do another little balance sequence. Okay, so you're going to lift your foot off the floor and then just circle. Now change direction. So it's just the ankle we're circling. Now, take the toe out in front, fix the ankle, so she falling over, hip, so from the hip, circle the whole leg, four, five, pause, other direction, two, three, four, five, and release it down, give it a little release. Okay, let's see if I'm better on this side. So. Just float the foot off the floor. Now we're ankle only to start with, so just rotate through the ankle. No, this is not going to be any better. Three, four, five. Pause, other direction. Five, four, three, two, one. And then take the leg out straight. Now, fix the ankle, it's not moving. Whole leg circle. Two, three, four, five, and change. Five, four, three, two, one. Release it down. And again, just pad through from toe to heel to release any tension. Now we're going to do a short lunge sequence. So just make sure you have enough room to step forward. We're going to do one forward, one side squat, and one back. So remember, it's as deep as you wish it to be. Four connection. So step into the lunge, bring it back, take it to the side, bring it back, take it behind, bring it to the center. Two lunges just at the center. Then bring it forward. So lunge it forward, bring it back, take it to the side, bring it back. Take it behind, back through center, two slow lunges, or two short, slow squats, should I say, to the middle. Bring it forward, making sure that knee is secure. Take it to the side, sit back into that squat. Take it behind, just dropping as low as you need to. Two slow, and release. And then on the other side. So step and lunge. Bring it back, take it to the side, bring it back, take it behind, bring it back, and two shallow squats. And bring your mat back into position because we're now going to go down onto the floor. Take a drink of water as you need it. And remember, you can stop and have a drink of water at any time. So, standing at the end of your mat, shoulders relaxed and down. Take a breath in, and then just nod the head. Pull the belly button back, soften through the knees, and then just release, just to your point of tension. And when you get there, just hold. Take a breath in, ease it back through, 
extend and press away. Wide fingers all the way down. Realign the shoulders, breath in. Nod. Think of that core engagement. Remember, keep the bend in your knees as much as you need to to ease you into the stretch. Relax into it, breath in. And as you breathe out, bring it back through. Reach high. Fingers wide, stretch away. Realign those shoulders. One more time. Ease it down. Keeping that core engagement. Relaxing into the stretch. Breath in, breathe out as you restack. Last time, reach for the ceiling. Press away. Bring it down. Realign. This time we're coming down on the hands and knees, so just nod the head. Again, think about core engagement. Nice, soft knees. And then just for a second, just let everything go. Looking towards your knees or wherever you're going down. Take a breath in and then bend the knees and ease yourself out into your four point kneeling position. So hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips. Cat and cow. So think of a nice straight spine. So lengthen from the crown of your head through to your tailbone. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, lift the shoulders, scoop the belly up, tuck the tailbone under and look back. And then as you breathe in, just flow through. So drop the belly towards the mat, ease the hips back, look forward and slightly up. And scoop, lift and tuck. And release. So you're keeping this nice and controlled. And release. Just moving with your breath. Make the next one your last one. So scoop, lift and tuck. And then release. Ease it back. And back through center. And then just ease your bum back towards your hands. Stretch the arms as far forward as they will comfortably go. Now you can have the arms parallel or you can take them into a V position, depending on how you want that stretch to go. Take a big breath in, and as you breathe out, slide your hands back, flick the palms over and relax those shoulders down towards the mat. If you want to release any tension in your wrists, just float the hands and do circles in one direction and then circles in the other direction. Then come back through center and we're going to hold, use the plank. So you can pick any variation on the plank that you wish. So you can have your full plank, you can have this variation where you have one leg back, you can have your lower arm plank or you can go to full and then drop the knees, flatten the feet and hold the half plank. Okay, so please pick the position that suits you best. Take one leg back, take the other leg back. Now, push into the hands so that you're pushing away from the floor. Shoulders are relaxed, you're looking straight down between your fingertips, belly is up, bum is down, and you're breathing. For 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, push away from the mat, 10, 9, Eight, remember you can take a break at any time. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop one knee, drop the other knee. Sit back and again, big stretch. If you prefer to go straight into the deeper shoulder stretch, by all means, take your hands back. 
Then everybody just release. Shoulders relaxing to either side, so just allow everything to release down. And then float your hands up. And because you're weight bearing, circles. Circles in the other direction. And then clench your fists and flick away. So clench, flick, clench, flick. And release it back up. And if your wrists are still a little bit nippy, just give them a little roll. Now we're going to come down onto your belly and we're going to do swimming. So there's loads of variations for this one. If you have any issues with your back, remember to keep it nice and low and don't do both at the same time. So I'm just going to do this from standing. So this is what we're aiming for. Yep, one arm, one leg. Opposite arm, opposite leg. While it's lying on the floor. But you can do them arms only, legs only. So it's your choice which variation you go for. So just ease yourself down onto your mat, safely and comfortably. Now, when you're lying with your arms directly out, if you find today that that is not comfortable for you, you can bring your arms in and do it with a shorter lever. So you can do it with a short lever, or you can take your head in your hands and just do your diamond press rather than alternating hands, all right? So we're doing arms only to start with. So extend the arms to where you want them to be. Now, think of your shoulder blades sliding back towards your back pockets if you have any. Pull your belly button through towards your spine. Now you're looking straight down at the mat. Take a breath in and as you breathe out, float one arm up and release it back down. Float the other arm up and release it back down. Now you're not going very high. Breathing out as you lift, in as you release, and your head stays in alignment with your spine. So it depends how high up you get as to how high your head goes. But you're looking along your mat. Breathing out as you lift, in as you release. Out as you lift. In as you release, last one. Out as you lift. In as you release. Now bring your head onto your hands and just relax those shoulders. And we're going to do the same with the legs. So to activate the inner thighs, just bring them together and you'll feel your glutes tightening slightly. And we're doing exactly the same thing with the legs. So take a breath in and as you breathe out, float the leg and stretch the toes away. Release it back to the mat. Float the other leg, stretching the toes away. And release back down. Float and stretch. So remember, we're looking for length here, not height. And release. Float and stretch. And release. Do four more of these if it suits you okay. Keep it nice and smooth. And release. Float. And release. Last two. Lift and stretch those toes. And release. Last one. Lift and stretch. And release. Give the hips a little gentle rock from side to side. Just release any tension in the lower back. Now, for the next set, you can stick at one or the other, or you can do both. So, take your arms into the position that suits you this morning. Relax the shoulders down. So think of easing your shoulders back. Take a breath in and one arm, one leg. So just lift and hold and slowly release. Other side, breathing in as you lift, in as you release. Lift and release. Now think of pulling that belly button back towards the spine and release. One more each side. Lovely. And release. And last one. And release it down. Then just ease yourself over onto your side. And if you like to have something underneath your head, you can grab your towel, like me, or cushion or bubble.
Now, remember your nice balanced position. You want to be lying directly on the side. So make sure you don't roll forward or roll back. You're aiming to be on your side. Heel and heel, knee and knee, hip and hip. If it suits you better to have the bottom leg bent, that is absolutely grand. Now, we're going to start with a top leg lift, bottom leg to meet, and then both legs come down. So you will probably need your top hand resting very gently on the floor in front of you. If your balance is good when you get into it, by all means, take your hand here. But start here just to get the flow. So, stretch through those toes. You're nice and long. Lift the first leg, lift the second leg, drop both down. Lift, lift, and release. Lift, lift, and release. Lift, lift, and release. Four more of these. Lift, lift, release it down. So you pause at the top. Lift, pause. Release back down. Last two. Lift. Lift. Slowly release. Last one. Lift. Lift. Slowly release. Now, you can stick with that or you can lift both. So take a breath in and lift and hold. Slowly release. Think of that core engagement. Lift and hold. Slowly release. Now, try not to rock onto the back hip. Lift and hold. Slowly release, lift and hold, and release. Belly button through the spine, lift and hold, and release. Breathing out as you lift, in as you release. Last two, lift and hold, and release. Last one, lift and hold, and release. Then bring the knees in, give the hip a little rub if it needs it and connect your feet together. So we're starting with a low clam. So keep the feet on the floor and we're going to control this movement. Take a breath in and just lift and release. Now remember you have a candle sitting just at the back of your hip. That candle does not move. And release. Lift and release. Lift. Now, if you wish to flick the heels up, flick the heels up. Candle is still here. Lift. Now, you do get a bit more freedom when you actually lift the heels. Lift and release. But you want to avoid rotating that hip. And release. Lift and release. Remember that core engagement for four. And release. You can stop at any time. Three. And two. Last one, lift, release, drop the heels, take the top knee over, extend the bottom leg. Top leg completely relaxed, hands can be wherever it feels best for you. Flex that bottom foot, breathe in, and as you breathe out, lift for two. So lift, lift, slowly, release. Lift, lift, slowly, release. Lift, lift, down, one more, lift, lift, down, nice singles, eight, and remember that core engagement, and lift, and lift, last four of these, four, and three, and two, last one, release it down, Bring the knees in, rest your hand, push through centre, and take the legs wide. Toes are pointing towards you, so you've got your feet nicely flexed. Now, we're going into our soul. Remember with our soul that there are two, direct, two distinct movements. There's the rotation and the forward flexion. If the forward flexion doesn't suit you, Instead of coming forward, you can twist and then just simply pulse, pulse instead of going forward, okay? So take the arms out, relax those shoulders down. Rotate first, then either pulse or go forward. Two, 
three, and back through center. Rotate and forward. Two, three. So you're not so much pulsing as trying to stretch a little bit further. Rotate first and then ease forward. Two, three. Back through center. Rotate. Now you try to keep the back hand high so it's making a diagonal with the front arm. Rotate, then take it down, two, three, back through centre last time, rotate first, and then ease it down, two, three, back through centre, release, bring the legs together, and just give everything a bit of a jiggle around, just release any tension that you've got. Then flick your legs to the other side. If you need a drink of water, grab it. I think I will. And then organize yourself into your nice, long, balanced position. So remember, you can adjust your legs to suit yourself. Just make sure you're on the side, so you're on this part of your leg, not this part, and not that part. You're on the side. Top hand very lightly, resting on the ground. So we're going to lift the top leg and then lift the bottom leg. So take a breath in and breathe out. In, out, into prepare. Lift, lift and hold, slowly release. Lift, lift and hold, slowly release. Lift, lift and hold, slowly release. Now if you're feeling quite confident, lift, lift and hold, slowly release. Just make sure you don't roll to compensate. Lift, lift and hold, slowly release. Two more like this. Lift, lift and hold, slowly down. Last one. Lift, lift and hold, slowly down. Now, you can stick with that or you can do double. So breath in, belly through the spine, float and release. Float and release. So think of that core connection. Float and release. Float and release. Lovely, nice control, folks. Float. They're making that look remarkably simple. Float. And release last two. Lift. And release last one. Lift. Release. Bring the knees in. Just give the hip a wee rub if it needs it. Because we didn't do very many, but it is quite an intense um, exercise, that one. Now, your heels are back, but you're keeping them on the floor to start with. So remember, what we want to avoid is that. Yep, upper body perfectly still. So take a breath in and breathe out as you just lift the top leg and release it down. Now we're doing these feet down to start with. So see if you can notice a difference between how far you can open the leg and release. Lift and release. Two more. Lift and release. Last one. Lift and release. Now flick the heels up. And lift and release. So you, there is a bit more freedom with opening the leg because of the angle you've now moved to. But this is a level two move because you're controlling the legs in the air rather than resting on the floor. Lift and release last two. Lift and release last one. Lift. Release, take it down, take that leg over, extend the bottom leg. Your hand wherever you feel comfortable. Flex that bottom foot and just lift for two. So lift, lift, lower and down. You can touch down or hover, your choice. Lower, lower. Lift, lift, lower. Now singles. 
for eight and slowly release seven and release six and release five and release last four you can four remember you can stop at any time if you decide you've had enough or you want a little break that's two last one release it down bring the knees in press in the top hand and push to sit now options in the next one we're going to go between c curve and roll down and roll up if you don't wish to do the roll up you don't have to go all the way down so just continue with the c curve just going back as far as you wish instead of going all the way down okay so get your position relax those arms so the out shoulders are down arms are floating so we're doing four with a little rotation take a breath in and as you breathe out just rotate and then breathe in as you come back through center so we're doing four of these so you're just easing into your seat curve if the rotation doesn't suit don't rotate, just do the C curve. Release, through center, release, back through center, straighten the legs out, and then go all the way back. Into your roll down, extend the arms, take a breath in, breathe out as you start to lift, and reach slightly forward then bring the heels in as we go back into our rotation so you're flowing between your c curve with your rotation or not remember you do not have to rotate if you don't wish to you can just take an ordinary c curve back this is our last one with the rotation then as you come up, extend, reach forward, and then fingers reaching forward, toes reaching forward, ease yourself back. One vertebrae at a time as you release back onto the mat. Extend the arms. Then bring the arms above the shoulders, take a breath in to prepare, and as you breathe out, start to peel. Shoulders, upper back mid back lower back extend away slide the feet back in last time ease into the rotation and release and remember you're only going back as far as you can control without the rotation you're just going into the c curve this is your last one Easing it back. Then as you come forward, take those legs away, stretch through fingers to toes, and then release, keeping that length. Imagine you're trying to reach your fingers towards your toes. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Extend, and then just take a full body stretch. So we're sitting down this time, so just extend all the way through, stretching through to your fingers, through to your toes. Then release your arms down to your sides. Slide one foot in, slide the other foot in. Now, make the diamond with your thumbs and middle finger and place that diamond, thumbs on the bit, just below the belly button, fingers, pubic bone, heels of the hand on the pelvis. And then I just want you to rock up so that your fingers point towards the ceiling and then tip it down so that your fingers go towards the floor. Ceiling and floor. Now make that less of a rock until you get your fingers and your thumbs at the same level and your pelvis is nice and even. Now relax the elbows down towards the floor and keep your hands where they are. That's going to ensure that your pelvis stays nice and level. 
plunge one leg to tabletop. Now we want to start with one leg and then you can build up to two. So take a breath in and as you breathe out, tap to the mat. So we're doing two taps, back through center, tap again, back through center, pause, now open for two. So open away, keeping the pelvis steady. Back through center, take it away. Back through center, release it down. Flip the other leg up. Make sure it's at the tabletop, rolling too far in. And tap it away, so you're breathing out as you tap, in as you come through center. And the whole time you're doing this, the belly button is through to the spine. Pause the tabletop, take it out to the side, Make sure that pelvis doesn't start to rock. Back through center. Take it to the side. Back through center. Now you can drop that foot to the floor or you can float the other leg to tabletop. Now as soon as you do that, belly button through to spine so that you get that good core connection and your back is nice and secure. Hands still in the diamond. Breath in and tap away. You don't need to go all the way to the floor, remember? Bring it back in, so we're doing two taps. Come back through center, open to the side. Keep that pelvis nice and steady. Don't let it rock. Back through center, change sides. Tap it away. Back to center, tap. And center, then open, open. And close, think of that core connection, open and close, now single, so tap, center, open and close, open, close, change sides, tap, center, open, and close, tap, center, open, nice control, tap, center, open, and close. Now bring your knees in or drop your knees to the side. So pick the option that gives you the best release for your back and your tummy. So you can rock, remember, or you can circle. The circle gives you a nice massage into your mid back, but be careful with it if you're on a very thin mat on a wooden floor. It's not particularly pleasant. Okay, so our next one is our hundred. So please pick the option that suits you best. Those of you that prefer to keep your feet on the floor, hip distance apart. Those of you that like to go to tabletop, float one leg up, float the other leg up. Check your position with the heel of the hand and drop the heels down. Those of you that like to have your legs up with a bowl between them, by all means get into that position. Float the hands at waist level and remember you can have head down or head up depending on which version you're going to use. So I'm going to keep my head down and do a full arm sweep. Take a breath in and away we go. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Two, three, four, ten. Now I'm going to challenge your breathing. Three, four, five, and down. Two, three, four, twenty. See if you can breathe in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, thirty. And one, two, three, four, five, and down, two, three, four, forty. If you wish to extend one leg, if you're going all the way back, three, four, five, but keep that belly button straight towards the spine, fifty. One, two, three, four, five, protect that lower back, three, four, sixty. Change legs if you did move it in, three, four, five, down, two, three, four, seventy. Lift, two, three, four, five, down, two, three, four, eighty. Both legs extended if you wish, three, four, five, but really feel that core connection. Ninety, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and whichever variation you did, adopt your resting stretch. So just whichever version feels best for you, that's the one that you grab. Then place one foot on the floor, place the other foot on the floor. 
Rest your hands down by your side and think of that nice even pelvis when we do the bridge. So take a breath in and as you breathe out, tip your tailbone under, peel your lower back, mid back, and if you wish, going all the way up to upper back, but relax those ribs. So make sure your ribs aren't popping, you're relaxing down. Breath in and breathe out as we release back through center. Breathe in to prepare, breathe out as you tip and peel. Just coming up as high as you're comfortable with. No pressure in the neck, remember as you do this, your head should be nicely relaxed. Release it back down. Now the next one we're going to hold up if it suits you. If you prefer to keep going up and down, please do so. So as you come up, you might want to readjust your shoulders, readjust the feet to get a good steady position. Now we're just going to do a pelvic drop, so take a breath in and as you breathe out, just drop your pelvis down towards the mat, brush it lightly and squeeze to come back up. Drop, very light touch and squeeze as you come back up. Drop and squeeze to come back up. Drop and squeeze, last two. Drop and squeeze, last one. Drop, squeeze, take a breath in, and then release, upper back, mid back, so keep your pelvis curled underneath, that's the last thing to come down, then one knee in, other knee in, and a little rock. Okay, now we're going to do crisscross, so various options in this one, you can have your feet on the floor, Elbows are back, and then just take a cross without coming too far up. So you're aiming your armpit towards your hip bone, I suppose is the easy way to put it. Okay, so that's option one. Option two, tabletop. Same idea again, armpit towards hip. Now option three, as you come across, the knee comes in. So you take the elbow to the outside of the knee and then cross to the other side. So those are your options. Any variations in between you can adopt, you know what they are. So here we go, take a breath in and you're aiming towards 16. So just count your own. If you're doing the complete crisscross, keep it controlled. Try not to pull in the neck. So you're just easing it across. If you're doing any variations, you take it to your own level as I admire your technique. Now remember you're in control of your own count. So as soon as you feel that you've done sufficient, you just ease your knees in and take a nice little drop. Gosh, everybody's still going. Feel free to stop any time, because I'm sure some of you have aimed for 40. Gosh, some of you are still going. Right, well done. You can stop now. JJ, feel free to stop. I know we're in super superhero mode, but here we go. So just take a nice little gentle rock from side to side. Well done, everybody. I think you, did, you definitely went above and beyond the call of duty there. So release one foot to the floor. Release the other foot to the floor. If you have any issues with your hips, keep your feet and knees together, arms are out 45 degrees, and you just take a gentle release to one side, only going as far as you're happy with, and then come back. If your hips are okay, take your feet as wide as the mat. Then take a breath in and allow the knees to drop to one side as you look over the opposite shoulder. Then breathe in as you come back through centre and breathe out as you release to the other side. Breathe in through centre, breathe out as you release. In through centre and release. 
So take one more each side. If you remember which side you started on. And then come back through center. Slide your hands in. Slide the feet away. And extend both arms over the head. Reaching from fingers to toes. And release. Now, right side only. Fingers all the way through the toes. And release. Left side only. Fingers through the toes. And release. Now, opposite. Right hand, left leg. So you're stretching on the diagonal. And release. Other side. Stretch on the diagonal. And release. Allow your hands to float down by your sides. Slide one foot in. Slide the other foot in. And then just gently roll over onto your side. And push to sit. Take your legs out. Slightly over hip distance apart. Flex the feet. Sit up nice and straight. Reach the arms above the head. Rotate towards one leg. Take a breath in. And then hinging forward. Ease down. And when you've gone as far as you can with the hinge, allow the shoulders and arms to relax in your head and pull your belly button back towards your spine. Now breathe in as you slide your hands up the leg. And as you breathe out, relax the head and shoulders. Pull the belly button back towards the spine and just ease into that stretch. Just go as far as you're comfortable with. Breathe in as you release it one more time. And as you breathe out, think of melting down towards your leg. Pull that belly button in. Reach those hands as far as they will comfortably go. You can give a little bit of a bend in the knee to help. That's absolutely no problem. Then bring it in. Bring it back through centre. Give the legs a little bit of a shuffle to release any tension. And then same on the other side. Extend and relax. Turn, flex the feet. And then slowly ease it forward. And then relax the head and shoulders as you pull that belly button through towards the spine. Now take a note of how far forward you've gone. Take a breath in as you come back. And as you breathe out, melt down towards your leg. Pulling the belly button back towards the spine and see if you can get a little tiny bit further if it suits you okay. Bring it in and release it forward. So just ease it down. And the last time, easing down just as far as you can comfortably go. But remember that core engagement. Now just hold it for a second. Come back through center. And again, give the legs a little bit of a rattle. You can have your legs together straight for this one. You can cross your legs or you can have diamond legs. So we're just going into our side twist. So sitting up nice and straight. Relax the shoulders. Take one hand to the opposite knee. Take the free hand behind. Now you're facing front and you're nice and straight. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, start to spiral. So you're not leaning back, you're not leaning forward, you're not leaning to the side, you're just rotating. Gentle release. Breathe in to lift up through the crown of the head again. And as you breathe out, spiral. So you need to go a little tiny bit further. Now as you come back this time, take your head through first. And then allow the shoulders to relax round. And come back through centre. Take the other hand across, free hand behind. Now sitting up nice and straight, take a breath in, and then start to spiral from your belly, ribs, chest, and over the shoulders. Slight release, breathe in as you lift, and breathe out as you turn, just as far as you're comfortable with. Then release the head first, 
release the shoulders, go back through center, take your hands to one side and just ease over onto hands and knees. We'll just finish with cat and pie before we come up. So hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips. Breathe in and as you breathe out, scoop, lift and tuck. And then as you breathe in, drop the belly. Sit bones, ease back, open through the chest. And scoop, lift, tuck, and release. Just flowing from one movement to the other. Come back through center, tuck your toes under, walk your hands back, ease up onto the toes, and then slowly, with control, on curl, onto your back, in the standing position, and make sure you've got a little bit of free room so you're not going to kick anything. Feet in your Pilates stance, engagement, big breath in, and take it wide. Big breath in, and take it wide. Now we're going to do our little ripple. So reach forward, and open. Ease it forward, and open. Two more. Ease it forward, open it out. So it's nice and controlled. Open and hold. Take the arm up and over. Back through center, up and over, and center. One more each side, up and over, and center last time, up and over, center, and release it down. Bring the hands up as you come up onto the toes, hold that balance, release it back down. One more time, float it up. Hold that balance, release back down. Keep the heels on the floor, bring the arms up, and if it feels good for you, let it go. And let it go. Two more of these if they feel okay, if you only want to go halfway, rest your hands on your thighs. Last one. And take the arms wide. Then bring one arm forward, bring the other arm forward, hands to the heart center, and take a bow. 